Hi everyone, Sneemaster here with some 3.17 tips. Now that patch 3.17 released, we can see it is not as stable as 3.16, as the previous patch was based on a stabilized 3.15, but 3.17 was a whole new patch. It has some bugs on top of the new features, so I figured I'd include a few tips for playing 3.17 so you don't get frustrated as much. First off, unlike 3.16, this new patch does have some random 30k errors, so make sure to land at stations or main landing zones often to save your ship status. This includes whatever cargo your ship is carrying. If you get a 30k, close the game and launcher, wait a few minutes and then rejoin the game. You and your ship should be at the last station you are at, hopefully. Next, CIG increased the food and water usage for our characters, so your character will get hungry and thirsty much quicker. Make sure to have some liquids and food available nearby if you're going on any long adventures. Save it in your suit inventory or ship inventory, or just be nearby space stations. Many Habs have food and drink in their loot chests now too, because of the increase in liquid and food usage. If you are desperate and far from a space station, then check Habs for them. Also remember, heavier armor will make your water and food usage increase faster, so try to wear light armor unless you're going into heavy combat. Thirst and hunger persist now, so you can't evade it by logging off. Once you log back on, it'll still show the same status. Armor and weapons are now not available to buy as often in stores. You can only get the very basic armor and weapons. The fancier stuff, you'll have to search around Habs or Derelict spacecraft for them. Since looting is so critical now, you may find yourself trying to carry lots of loot back. Unfortunately, your armor and backpack can only carry so much. Running back and forth with loot is a pain, so you can either buy carrying boxes from stations with cargo locations ahead of time, or if you're in a hab, take the loot from the loot box into the local storage. Then when you get to your ship, move the loot from the local storage to your ship storage, as long as your ship is close enough to the hab. There is a bug with the weapons holstering on their own, or unholstering. It possibly occurs when holstering a weapon or device more than once. When this happens, it often prevents you from picking anything up or even using your multi-tool. One possible solution I read, if you get this issue, is to put on a helmet and use Alt-X to clean your helmet a few times. If that doesn't work, logging out and back in sometimes fixes it. It's a weird and annoying bug. Sometimes related to that same bug is an issue where you can't hold anything that is in your inventory in your hand. For example, trying to grab a water bottle in your backpack. If you get this issue, drop the item on the ground and then you will be able to pick it up and use it like normal. I've also run into cases where some ship paints aren't loading on ships properly. I don't know a workaround for this, but I'm experimenting. Some combat escort missions will bug out occasionally if the enemy has anvil hornets. All you can do in this case is try for another mission. Another issue is sometimes the air traffic control won't always work. It might not assign you a landing bay, or it might not give you an icon on where to land. Worst case, just let your ship get impounded. It shouldn't give a crime stat, hopefully, and it's just a fee later to get your ship back, like 500 credits. Your cargo should still be on the ship, but I have to test it. Or you can fly more than 10 kilometers from the location and then fly back. Sometimes the ATC will register then. Another tip, you can now bind a key to call the air traffic control automatically instead of manually having to go to the communications page or using the comms MFD. Many people bind F3 or the comma key to that command. It'll save you quite a lot of time in the long run. One benefit of the patch is the improved frame rates and syncing have made it easier to fly or fight with friends at your side. This is a good time to get friends to help you on missions, and you can formation fly with them now without randomly bumping into them. Unfortunately, sometimes the party markers don't always show up, and the beacons sometimes don't show, so that can cause problems. The markers synchronize best when the party gets together physically first in one location, and then you set the party markers. One other issue that I've been seeing is that the scanners don't always seem to work. So the scanning mode for rocks and asteroids and all that stuff doesn't seem to do well, much of anything. So the only way to really check out rocks is you have to go to mining mode and then get within 250 meters of the rock and then you'll be able to scan it. It's a pain because you have to get really close, unlike before, where you could get within just 4.5 kilometers and still see stuff. So it's a pain, but hopefully they fix it soon. In the meantime, go to mining mode, 250 meters, that should take care of it. All right, so that's it for the 3.17 hints and tips. If you're interested in jumping into Star Citizen, go ahead and use my referral code to get an extra 5,000 in-game credits to spend on anything you like. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons to get more videos. Let me know if you want me to review a particular ship or item. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to help me out. Okay, catch you all next time.